Hello everyone, welcome to your 24th Grasshopper tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to learn about the vectors in Grasshopper. Now, as I mentioned last time, vectors are a bit tricky at the beginning if you don't understand what they do or what they mean. But as soon as you get the hold of it, it's going to be like super fun and you're going to understand how to work with them and how they actually like what they actually do in Grasshopper. So first of all, I really wanted to make this as easy as possible. So where do you find vectors in Grasshopper? Basically, they have their own tab for some reason. It's um, so the fourth one. You can see here we have a vector. If you just click on the tab, you can see we have lots of like vector options. Now, like I said at the beginning, vectors can be a little bit tricky to understand, but I'm going to make it as easy as possible. Um, as easy as possible. So first thing you want to do is get two points. So we just type in construct point. I'm just going to take two copies of this and I'm going to change the location of one of them. So by default it's 0, 0, 0 for the X, the Y and the Z. So I'm just going to type in 10 number slider and then just connect a point with, with the same value for the X, the Y and the Z. Now vector by default, you need two points. So as a, as a start, when you have a vector, you need two points. And if you just double click and type in vector to point, which is something you're gonna use a lot when you're using vectors. And the vector to point, it needs like a base point and the second one is a tip point. So you just connect these both, nothing happens. The thing with vectors, it's not something you see in Grasshopper, it's something that happens, <laughs> let's say like that, like it doesn't have a value, it it just affects everything around it. So if you just double click and you really want to see what's happening with the vector, you just type the vector display, which is this one here. And with the vector display, you can see like how, like which direction the vector is going or you can actually like display the vector. So by default, you just have to like the vector to the vector, connect it. And the thing is, you need to just say, where is your anchor point? So my anchor point is this point here. So if I just connect it, now you can see the vector. Now, as a concept, you're like, mm, okay, what am I supposed to do with this? Okay, we're going to take an example now. But for now, if you notice that if I move my point, so let's say, I don't know, I just get like a normal point. And then set one point. I'm just going to put one here and then connect it to the, um, the tip point. So if I just move this point, so you can see that the vector is moving with me. So wherever I go, the vector says, this is your the, the start point and this is the end point and this is the direction of the vector. So this is just like basically as a starter, what is a vector? It doesn't have a value. It just says the direction between two points so you need two points usually when you have a vector so now we're gonna see it in action like what does a vector do and how to work with a vector so let's just delete all this and most importantly if you want to see a vector you really have to get the vector display like without the vector display i mean things are happening but you don't know how or where or what is going on so the thing i want to do is get multiple points so from this one i'm going to take the square grid and I'm going to make the cell size maybe 2. So the cell size. Forget this, it's just a plane, like which plane you want to work with. We're fine with the x, y. It's all good. Uh, the extent, I want it 10. No, no, I want it 30. For both the y and the, the um, x. So this is OK. The next thing I want to do is get the midpoints of all the cells, so area connect the cells to the geometry and yeah now we have like a bunch of points so I'm just gonna hide the square grid for now and now we have these like points um, so what am I gonna do I'm gonna get a point and that will be my start point and all the other ones are gonna be the tip point so what I'm gonna do is just type in vector to point okay so it says here base point and it says tip point. So all these are going to be my tip points. Uh, so we connect, sorry, the centroid to the tip points. 
I'm gonna get a point. Set one point, put it maybe here, and this would be my beginning. So as you can see, nothing happens. I don't see anything. So what we need is a vector display to see how the points are interacting with my um, base point. So this one always vector to vector, always like connect the vector to the vector display to the vector. And this one says which one is your anchor point. So my anchor point is this, and if I connect it, voila, we can see how it's interacting with the other points. So now if I move it, we can see that it's like gravitating, you know, like this is the base point and this is how it's, it's interacting with all the other points. So okay, if you move it, we can see that this is what a vector is. It's just, it doesn't have a value. It just says, um, what does it say? <laughs> it just says like how are the points interacting with each other and in which direction. So what you can do with something like this, you can actually, like you cannot bake anything in Grasshopper with this sign at the end of it. That means you cannot bake it, it's just a display. So what you're gonna do is just get an align SDL, which is start point, uh, direction, and length. So my start point is gonna be all the other, um, like the points on my grid. The direction is gonna be the, the vector, okay? So you can see now, if we just, let's say delete this for now, we can see that we have a line, and this line, the direction of the line is the vector itself, and the starting point is all the, I mean, all the starting points of this line is from the grid. So what you can do is just add the length of it, maybe 15, because like I just want to bake something. So maybe 15 is too much, make it smaller. Okay, let's try and hide the um, points. So as you can see, if I just move my point, we can see that it's interacting with all the other points. Which is kind of cool. So, just get a pipe maybe, and then change the radius to 3.5, and then just connect. Maybe it's a bit small. Let's try. Well, okay. 0.5. I think 0.2 is perfect. Yeah, makes no sense. So now you can bake it, and like, as a start, I try to make this like as, as easy as possible. This is what a vector is, it's just two points, and then you have this vector that is like, it will make these points interact with each other, or like make some data calculation in it. So it doesn't have a value, but it just like manipulates the geometry it's around. So, Basically, this is just like the beginning of vectors. Um, you can play with it, you can see what it does. So yeah, the most important thing is like you have to understand the definition, vector to point, what it needs, how vectors like work and interact with each other, what is a vector. And yeah, I mean, we can bake this now, and it's fine. We can do a lot with vectors. Um, we can do a lot of complicated things with vectors. So yeah, for now, this is like an introduction to vectors and how to work with them and hopefully I'll do something like more advanced next time. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next tutorial.